Chris, first of all, how have you, how's the off season been? How's the, the body feeling heading into the new year? Yeah, it's feeling feeling pretty good, thanks. Uh, had a good sort of winter, managed to get in a few tournaments, went out to the Abu Dhabi T10 with the Chennai Braves, which was awesome. Good experience chatting to some very experienced franchise cricketers out there and learning a lot. So yeah, had a good little trip over the winter and looking forward to the new season coming around. Body's feeling good, so hopefully uh, get a bit of cricket in this winter and then fly into our summer. Yeah, you had the Caribbean Premier League and as you mentioned, the, the T10. What, what was their like a sort of learning experience? What were you able to take away from that? Yeah, brilliant to play in a sort of new format in the T10 and then experience another environment as well with the, the CPL, new tracks and stuff, which will be handy given we're going to be playing in the World Cup out in some of those grounds as well. So, yeah, it's brilliant. And, and mixing in with some, some players, like I said, that have been a, around this franchise for years and years and played international cricket all over. So, good to sort of pick the brains of some of those players as well. How do you sort of reflect on 2023 as a whole? Because there are ups and downs both personally and for the, for the team as a whole, I guess. Yeah, I think ups and downs is, is the way to sum it up. Um, obviously, brilliant to qualify for a T20 World Cup. Uh, but it, it felt like we should have been at a World Cup last year as well with, the, with just narrowly missing out in that one day World Cup. And I mean, uh, your personal success is, is nice, but it's always nice to succeed as a team for Scotland. And looking ahead to, to that World Cup, I suppose that's sort of the focus of, of 2024. How much are you looking forward to that, especially now we know who we're going to be playing? Yeah, very excited for that. Um, Caribbean is a brilliant place to go play cricket, and I can imagine playing against England in that first game, there'll be a pretty decent crowd in Barbados. Uh, fans do like to travel to that spot, so it's a pretty good list. It's a bit of a blockbuster list for us, so excited to uh, get out there and get amongst it. Is it nice to be able to go sort of straight into those games as well? There's got a sort of pre qualifying stage before you straight in against sort of the big boys. Yeah, it? definitely, definitely. The new the new sort of format for this World Cup is an exciting exciting one. So it'll be good to see how that how that structure works and hopefully it, it pays the way for all formats to be like that in the future. And before that you're heading over to uh, the United Arab Emirates for the IL T20. How much are you yeah. looking forward to getting over there for that? Yeah brilliant opportunity again. Another new franchise, very young still, it's only its second year and uh, a hell of a lot has been invested in it and some of the teams are sort of star-studded so another opportunity to meet new people, new coaches, work with them, learn some more as well so uh, very excited to go ahead and do that and get, get to play with a teammate as well which is always nice too. Yeah I was going to say you, you're going to be playing out there with what is, are you looking forward to that or do you wish you could have had a... Uh, ah well I spend a lot of time with Watty on tour so you would have thought I'd be wanting to get rid of him but it's good fun to have on those sort of trips and you know, excited to share a dressing room, a dressing room with him again and uh, it'll be good to play against some of our, our players as well, it's not often I get to play against Brando and stuff in club cricket and uh, Michael Jones as well at Desert Vipers so it'll be good to try and match up against him too. How good is it? the team to have you know, multiple guys playing in this franchise tournament sort of leading into the, the World Cup as well. Yeah, massive. Massive, I think. I think uh, any, any extra exposure we can get is only going to be a massive benefit to us as a playing group. And, uh, and, and like I said, sort of learning off those other players that have been in those World Cups over and over again and, and sort of learning from them too. But uh, yeah, it's a great opportunity.